Bruce Bruce Harris, she do her nails. I know that she real, she's busting her wrists. Okay, who do you accept? Yeah, I gotta admit. Who do you accept? Yeah, I gotta admit. Okay, like, soft girl, I don't pay for shit. She says she don't care. Baby, come here. She want me to eat her up with sweet ice. Baby, you want wet ice? Yeah, baby, I knew. She paid my rent because I gave her good deed. She told me, baby, I love your physique. Yeah, baby, I knew. Soft guy around, I'm living a dream. No bird bushing, you know what I mean? At this point, I don't know what else to say except. Drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rome back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of the video, I hope you subscribe. So I got a clip from you guys that is gone that's coming from the um soft guy era, guys. And this chick cooked. That's all I'm gonna say. And she didn't have to say a whole lot either. So I'm not gonna say much either. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. What's interesting is that women have been able to take the positions of power and wealth that men have traditionally taken, but they don't want the responsibility of being the breadwinner in like a relationship or household. They still want the guy to do it. And so it's kind of like women have taken those positions, but men are allowed to take the feminine role. Because I don't know many women out here looking for a stay at home husband. Women are actually out earning men. Women under the age of 30 are out earning their male counterparts. So when they go on a date, they still expect the man to pay. I mean, yeah. Choices and trade-offs, right? So if you want to be the high earner, the likelihood is that for the average relationship, if you're a high earner, you're going to be the highest earner. So I guess guys would ask like, why is it so hard to be the provider if you have worked to be in that position and maybe he isn't? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Listen! Not reciprocated. Selfish ass females in the world. I can't believe there's so many of them. It's a lot. Um, a female made a comment on me from my post about speaking mm -hmm. with me in and, you know, women ain't really gonna spend money on me like that. She don't like you like that. She won't. Um, we'll take you out. We'll visit you. You know, we'll send energy. Right. The things that you give her. Right. Um, the female say, if you want 50-50, that's your business partner. You're right. It's my business partner. Mm -hmm. That's how I love her. Mm -hmm. She's so big. Mm -hmm. My best friend. Mm -hmm. My husband. Woo! Come on! Come on! Come on! No, because hold on. Don't piss me off. You guys are criticizing her for going 50-50 with her man, saying, oh, that's not your man, that's your business partner. And so, business partner, husband, she pulled out that ring, but you're still singing. All the single ladies, all the single ladies, no ring. <laughs> <laughs> We've been shouting from the rooftops, I'm not going 50-50 with no man. Bitch, you're 37. <laughs> Bitch, it's been 13 years you've been saying the same thing since you've been 24 years old. And shit changed with the new cat and dog you got. And shit changed. No, no, don't piss me off. Because some of your women are in the age range between 25 and 28. And you're talking about, yeah, I get my inspo from Sexy Red and Gorilla. Really? How has that panned out for you? I want you to think. You sent a shade room post into the friends group chat that quoted Young Miami. And you said, yeah, I really see myself in her. She's really my twin flame. She was on payroll to give Cat out by Diddy. You said that you see yourself in her and she's your twin flame. But you forgot one big thing. She was with Diddy. Proudly. That says a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that man said it's been 13 years and they should change what they can and the dog you got. Hey, bro, that part had me crying. I'm sorry, bro, but damn, that was funny. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Lord. And what's crazy is I'm like, that woman good looking. You can tell she's naturally got all natural like come on she had a little light makeup on bruh see what i'm saying bro i'm telling you bro like it, it, it ain't enough women in the uh, west like that I, I can tell you that right now i can tell you that right now let's keep oh going. why don't men present this lifestyle they know they can't obtain they can't keep up with and then get mad when women start to say something after a while because men have bad days too goes back down to you know last conversation that we had about a man saying no you asked me to hold it down x amount of times whatever you're going through it all right i'm holding down i'm holding down but one time i don't got it now you ready to go on to the next nigga that do got it that's not crazy to you absolutely crazy and for y'all that are probably a, a bit newer to my channel as it continues to grow approaching sixty thousand, man thank you if you're new and subscribe um 
this is kind of what started my uh red pill arc if you want to say um last serious relationship i was in i was with a woman and i was trying to be the provider even though i really wasn't even in a position to do so um i wasn't making nearly what i make now uh however i did try to play that role for a woman who didn't have any real income her herself and um long story short she basically did the same thing that the guy is referring to when i had to tell her no because bills were more important than just handing her handing her over her money just so she could have money in her pocket to spend and she was very frivolous about it um yeah eventually she did exactly that so i guess i shouldn't be surprised yeah and that's how i'm at then that's why i'm at where i'm at now so <laughs> yeah let's keep it moving listen like, how are you okay watching your man struggle and you're good how it's a part it's a partnership it's a partnership you okay with your man struggling and you being good and he still has shit that he has to pay for for himself and you and he's paying for everything for you that's weird old ass behavior that's, that's evil weird. yeah ty yeah just dm me i love you <laughs> i want everybody to think about this right your girl has 10 to 20k in her account <laughs> Bro, this is not funny, but it just okay your girl has 10 to 20k in her account you pay all her bills and now your account is at like 500 right because you pay for hers and yours now the subscriptions <laughs> the subscriptions came out of nowhere even the la fitness reoccurring bill came out of nowhere now your account is at 100 your guys put you in a group chat it's one of your man's birthday right he just came back in town they say yo bro we about to get a section everybody put up 175. <laughs> genuinely have a question what do you gain by paying all the bills for your girl listen to my question what do you gain by paying all the bills for your girl hmm? i'll wait no because after one to two years then your girl leaves you she slaps her knee all right <laughs> that's a wrap folks you paid all her bills and now she's up thirty thousand. <laughs> yeah mr provider man i'm a provider i'm a real man shut your broke ass up 80 percent of divorces are initiated by women this is a known fact and you're telling me you're going to pay all the <laughs> you guys are actually comical i just want to see something if you are a sole provider comment a one in the chat so everybody can know you're a walking lick <laughs> <laughs> well it don't matter i make six to seven figures and i pay all the bills i'm a real man Hey, yeah, yeah, okay, come on, high five. When your girl goes to LA Fitness and gets fucked by the guy that's in the front desk telling her, hey, hold it up, tilt it a little bit more so we can scan it. <laughs> Let me know how that provided shit is working for you. I'm in my soft guy era. I'm not dating no girl that has no fucking motion. If you're broke, move around. Make way for the woman that actually have some fucking motion. We trying to see something. Make sure you pre-order your Soft Guy Era merch. No restocks. We have to discuss 50-50 paying the bills with these men. Other races of women don't have to discuss going 50-50 with their men because they don't have a problem with it. Let me see. Okay, perfect example. I'm going to use family-owned restaurants. Go to an Italian restaurant. Go to a Jamaican restaurant. Go to a Haitian restaurant. Go to a Hispanic restaurant. All family owned. When you go inside, you will see everybody working gang, the whole family. Husband, wife, the kids, everybody. The, the pets too. Everybody in there working, goddammit. If you broke, just say that. If you broke, just say that. Ladies, 
Y'all got to stop taking advice from women who don't have a man. And what these women don't even realize is that this is the reason why black income household medians, we're at the lowest. This is exactly why. Now, the fact that a lot of us aren't, you know, in the same home due to a uh, low rate of marriage plays a factor, but still, at, we're at the bottom. And black men on average make more than black women, obviously, for obvious reasons. Now, here's my thing. <clears throat> what is so bad about coming together and using a, in, a combined income so that way somewhere along the line down in the future, one of y'all don't have to work? Hell, maybe even both of y'all. Or at least be in the position where you can work from home. Who knows? All I'm saying is, is that this is like the cheat code to get in the head. I'm like, why do y'all think there are, why do you think everything seems to be catered towards people being single? Why do you think certain propagandas are getting pushed? I'm like, hell for crying out loud. We got, um, we got wedding, um, band stores going out of business. Why do you think that is? <laughs> I, I, I tell you, man, it's, this is why. I do what I do, man, to bring awareness to people, man. It is 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 deeper. It's deeper than people think. It really is, bro. Let's keep it moving. I hope you didn't forget that girl that says she's not going 50/50 with you. That's the same girl that asked you last month if she can get $150 to cover her rent cuz she doesn't have it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I hope you didn't forget that same girl that says she's not going 50/50 with you. That's the same girl when she goes out with her friends, she's the biggest advocate. We're all getting separate bills. <laughs> I thought that was your bestie. I thought that was your bestie. Don't piss me off. Don't piss me off. If this applies to you, don't comment. You're the same girl. Oh, I'm not going to go 50-50. You and your friends went to a high-end Mexican restaurant. You said, oh, I'm going to go against the green and get calamari. <laughs> Or are you on a budget? <laughs> a whole gang got Maria tacos and two Casamigo shots, and you reminding everybody, hey guys, remember, I only got a water and calamari. We got you. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to go 50 50, but you're out here fake going to the bathroom, but you want to talk to the waiter, and you're asking him, hey, is gratuity included? Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm in my soft guy era, I realize a lot of you women are broke. Listen, when people talk about the soft guy era and they say, oh, if you're not a provider, you're not paying all the bills, you're not a real man, I want you to listen to them. I want you to just hear them out and just listen to what they're saying. When they're saying, oh, you're not a real man, you're not paying all the bills, you're not providing, you're not paying for this and that, mind you, it's always that payment, right? What are you leading with when you're doing those things? You're leading with what? And this is the same thing they tell you not to lead with. You're leading with your wallet. You're leading with your debit card. You're leading with your money. And they're mad we're catching on. And it's both sides, men and women. They talk like this. They're, oh, you, you're not paying for everything then, bro. You're not a real man. My, my bad for not leading with my wallet. Something they told me not to do. And it's not wise. A wise man shouldn't lead with his wallet anyway. You people, when they make videos about the soft guy era and me and Goody and things of that nature, they get extra technical and they try to do all this research. But we just keep it as simple as possible. Because it is simple. They try to shame you because you don't want to date a broke woman. <laughs> they get mad when a woman sends you money. Oh, I could never do it. I could never take money from a woman or I could never send a man money. They try to shame you. Quick question. Why would you want to date a broke woman or a woman that does not contribute to you? Even financially or whatever. These rich men aren't dating broke women. Look at Jay-Z. He's married to Beyonce. She's more popping than him and makes more money than him. <laughs> Look at ASAP Rocky. <laughs> He's dating Rihanna. He's dating Rihanna and she has kids by him. With these situations, it's just like, why would you do it? Why would you date a broke woman when the guys that have way more money than you don't even do? Think about it. Hey, I got to be honest with you guys. I agree with him 1000% on this because I remember um, 
reacting to videos where women literally said they don't like men who leave with their wallet because it comes off like they can't get women unless they got money. I've heard this from so many women, bruh. But then at the same time, women get so upset when we tell men not to do it. <laughs> Hey, man, this is how I know I'm starting to get in a better headspace traveling, man, because some of these hypocrisies that you discover in women are, like, humorous. Like, seriously, that's hilarious. <laughs> or maybe I'm just becoming immune to it, man, because I just catch on to all of it, man, and bring it to you guys' attention. <sighs> Let's keep it moving. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. You are absolutely correct, sir. There are a ton of women that scream and yell and say they want equality, but they really don't want equality because if you listen to a lot of the people that are angry about this soft guy era, they're saying things like, but men are supposed to be protectors and providers. Well, if men are supposed to protect and provide for women and women are doing none of the protecting and providing, that's not equality. They want the equal pay in their jobs, but they don't want the equal pay on the date. They want the equal pay level in the job, but they don't want to work the really hard, dirty, dangerous jobs. They want men to do those. They don't want true equality. They want equality when it benefits them. And so they're mad that men are giving them exactly what they've asked for. They're giving them true equality. You go to work, you work the hard jobs, you do the hard things, you pay half the bills, and we have no problem. Men are giving women the energy that women have been giving men for quite some time. Women are out here going, screaming and yelling and saying things like, well, if he wanted to, he would. And the second a man says, well, if she wanted to, she would. She's mad. Women are out here saying, well, I he needs to pay for my hair and my makeup and this and pay for the date. And now that men are saying, I am paying for her hair. I am paying for her makeup because I got to clothe myself. I got to groom my beard. I got to get my hair done. And I'm only paying half for the date. They're mad. They wanted it all but they're mad that men are still willing to give half. Hmm. Anyway, soft guy air is winning. Drizzle, drizzle. Smart man, I hate to say it. I thought I'd never be the one, but since when did money become the standard for picking a man? All I see on social media is my man better be buying me this. He better be buying me that. He better be paying for this. He better be paying for that. Since when did his character and how he treats you not become the top priority? I am a girl's girl to my core, but we have to do better if we want quality men. Good men are out here giving up on love and deciding to be single and not take relationships seriously because of fear of not being able to live up to a woman's financial standards. I truly think us women have gotten ahead of ourselves, thinking that men are supposed to pay all of our bills, take care of us, buy us Van Cleve bracelets and Chanel bags. Just puts a burst in a bubble on the good man because he's like, all right, well, I can't afford to buy my woman Chanel and take her to Turks and Caicos every other month and do all this other stuff for her. I'm a normal guy. And so I guess I need to be single because these women out here don't really, they're not looking for what I'm trying to give, which is true love and an honest living. And I just think that women have to change their thought process. It's not about what a man can do for you, but it's about who is that man to you? Is he a good man? Does he treat you good? And if he treats you good, then all of those things will come. But why is money the first thing that we're looking at and then everything else comes after? It's just not gonna turn out. And y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, guys. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's what the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.